Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, we're going to start off with this fly. Um, it's basically a, a more realistic imitation of a midge pupa, and but it's a small version. So you've seen buzzers tied like this. There's nothing special about this style, but um, we're dealing with a, a size 18 or 20 or 22. And so it's really simple to tie, but I, I like the fact that it's a little bit more imitative of, of the naturals. And you can vary the colors a little bit, and we'll, we'll put some color variations on there uh, when all said and done. Uh, so we're going to start the thread. Let's use a, back, a black thread, and, and we'll tie that in right behind the eye. And I'm going to work our way down just to the bend of the hook. And then as you've twisted, um, the thread gets twisted as well. So uh, rotate it counterclockwise until you see it unwind. If you're left hand, you don't have to worry about that. So now I've taken my strip peacock quill. And most of them come with these, the some of the hurl still on the end. So I clip that off right there. And I'm going to tie this in. It's somewhat tapered, but so you could really tie it in either end. It's not going to matter that much. I do like to moisten a little with some saliva. And most of the time these aren't going to crack on you and you don't need to submerge them in water or treat them. But um, every once in a while you get one that likes to break on you. So this will help that. Okay, so we just take our um, quill and we're going to put that in perpendicular to the hook. So it's going to come off the edge like that. One wrap, and then we'll just secure it, and we're going to wrap up. Now these midges are definitely tapered, so we'll go all the way up to where we're going to tie in the wing buds, about right there, and then I'm just going to come back down about halfway, unwind my thread a little more, and then back up to thorax where we'll have those wing buds tied in and so that's created a, a little bit of a taper and it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, we're going to wrap the quill over it and then we're going to finish it off so a couple different ways you can do the quill um, I like to use hackle pliers so what I'll do is I'll grab it take one turn or at least half a turn and then I'll get some t hackle pliers attached to it and then I'll just uh, rotate it up and use the rotary feature on the vise to finish that off. And then once we get up to the top, a couple of soft wraps and then you can move towards the eye, and as you do that, get a little tighter on the wraps, and then keep the tension in your thread, and that will just break right off. Okay, so we've got a segmented body there, and I'm gonna work my way back to just in front of the hook point, so at that thorax area, and I'm gonna grab a couple of biots. These are going to be goose biots. And orange or red, um, green, yellow, but I usually use orange or red. Sometimes a rust or a sulfur orange works well. And then <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll, I'm going to tie these in upside down and that way they start because if you look at the wing buds on the natural they kind of curl up from the bottom. And so I'll take both of these by the points, and I like to snip off the points to even them out. Plus those tip tops are not very strong, so like so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two fibers and just split the hook, one on each side. And I'm gonna hold them like this, and I'm just gonna give a 
a couple of really soft wraps. And now I'll just adjust these to the length that I need them. That way you've got them semi-secured. And you don't want them any further than the uh, the end of the eye, or the eye of the hook there. So I'll just tweak those out. And we do want them on the bottom. Like so. And then a little bit tighter wraps. And then we'll work up towards the eye and create a thorax. Come back down. And then you can you can see how those are tight in. They're right there, kind of make a V. And the other thing I can do here is build up a little bit more of the thorax. Because again, we want this to be tapered. So I'll come back up to the eye. And then leave it right there at the eye of the hook. And then we're going to take each fiber. We're going to pull each of these fibers up and to the top. And I like to just overlap them basically to the front, to the eye of the hook, like so. One wrap, do the same with the other one. So you basically got something like that. And notice they're not pulled very tight. They kind of leave a little loop, which is fine because that's kind of what the wing looks like. And now I'm going to tighten down those wraps right at the eye. Come in front. And then this is where it helps to have good scissors. You, you can tear these off if you want, but uh, I like to just come in here and trim them. and then clean up the head. And then we whip finish. Now is the last step because this one fish and this is going to be destroyed. So and you also see the, the wing buds here. Um, they're just these biats, and that, that's not very strong. Plus, this is peacock uh, quill, which is also not very strong. So we're going to take some Loon fluorescing UV clear fly finish, which is basically flow, but it's got a fluorescing property to it. And I'm going to put a glove on here, and then we'll work it out with the bodkin. And once we got that on there, zap it. And it's that easy.